Rogue. Dig for treasure. Draw a minion. If it's a pirate, get a coin. Um, I don't know if this is good. Like, what is it? I mean, you run in your pirate deck, but like, I get a yeah. coin, which is like, could be valuable. I don't know. Is this good? Just wait. Wishing Ch Wells still in the game, right? So it's like, yeah. oh, but Wishing Wells is not a pirate. So, yeah. like, you're not guaranteed a coin. Chat, tell me if I should want this card. Just, I, I don't even know. I don't, I'm not a rogue player. Um, no. All right. Uh, I'm gonna give. Uh, I'm gonna give it a one star. Because cool. chat told me. All right. I'll give it two stars. It doesn't seem like aquatic form is just like zero mana draw something, and you choose it. This is like kind of zero mana draw something, but you can use a mana later. But you have to pay up front. I, I don't know. Whatever. All right. Um, I'm gonna thistle tea set. Uh, discover a spell from another class. Get a copy of it. Um, is Velrock still in the game? Yeah. I mean, this is worse than the stick up, and it's worse than uh, the like the three two that gives you a spell from a different class. So it's, I guess, if all those cards are still in the game, there's no reason to play this old T-set. Yeah, so... Um, I'm going to give it a one, so... Like, and a copy is so much worse than a second one, because, like... Yeah, that's true. When you get a bad one, it's really bad. Okay. Um, Alright, so let's go... Oh, toy vote looks insane. Toy vote. Uh, when when you summon a pirate, draw a card. Oh, it's like off here, but for pirates, and it's two mana. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you could like in the wild. You can play this and then play patches, right? Um. Um. All right, I'll give this four stars. So. Yeah, there's there's that you know the one mana pirate one three that summons one ones whenever you attack like that that's a lot of pirates to summon yeah like two pirates when you set it up I mean I don't know if there's a win condition if it's like an aggro deck and you have to set up a combo turn that is just like making a board and not dealing with anything it's kind of trash. What do you think is better like this card or the the freaking like the card in wild the uh, the cannoneer card you know? Oh. Uh... The, the ship's cannon, yeah. Oh, dude, <laughs> we got we got our wild guy. Oh, probably, probably, yeah. Yeah, dude, dude, dude. Let's I mean, see. Ship's cannon is better when you're playing pirates because yeah, we're drawing Dane's for yeah. So I don't know. I'll still give it four stars because it's like it seems good, but yeah, it looks insane. But I haven't seen pirates, and if there's no more good pirates, then it's bad. But yeah. Um. Okay. Oh, I think that's that comes back in the game. I think I saw that right. What second? Oh yeah, yeah, and it's a one two now. Oh, it's one two. Yeah, they um, even buffed a card that was already seeing play uh, uh, at one, right? I'm always here. I just don't talk. All right. <laughs> so, um, uh, so uh, bargain bin buccaneer, uh, rush combo summon a copy of this. That hand is a two one. Oh, that one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am confused, dude. <laughs> dude, I, I slept like four and a half hours less than today. Uh, mm -hmm. Combo summon a copy of this. So it's, this is, uh, you play on turn two and you coin it. Yeah, it's okay. Like it's, not, it's got rush, so it could be. Oh, and the other thing is summon. So like, so it's with the, the with the with the with the ship. It's uh, two things. I think this is uh, uh you know I think I'll, I'll give it uh, I'll give it uh, I'll give it three so it's pretty good. Sure. Um, Actually, I'll give it two. I'm I'm not convinced by pirate rogue until I see like a really good pirate rogue card. Double agent with rush. Yeah. And it's not double agent with rush. Like three is so much better than two though. Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to uh, make a wait for a pause. All right. The crystal cord. The next menu you summon has its set stats set to 4 4. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. 
This is the, the rogue quest at home. Okay. <laughs> rogue quest it. Um, is this good? I honestly feel like this is bad. Like why it's so like they compare this to like the the construct quarters where you killed something and it made it four or five. Yeah, this this seems absolute trash. Yeah, all right, one. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought this was gonna be really good, but then I looked at it and it was a bad. Okay. Um, next card. Okay. So if each time you click on it for this turn, every minion you play is a four four, then it would be like probably. Oh, good. that would be good. Yeah, some of this turn, you know. So okay. Why don't they just do like the next minion you summon, you know? Like why even do it like this turn? Like why is that so important, you know? I don't know. Oh true. It would it's still like, be terrible. Yeah, so anyways. Oh, it's good with miniaturized minions, who cares? Okay. Okay, after you play a one cost card, get a copy of it that costs zero. So you can do this for more miniature -y stuff. Is it just me or does this card suck? I don't know. Like you, you double up on your one. Minute. What? I'm trying to think of one cost cards. Um, what are good one cost cards in Rogue? Uh, is it? I don't know. Like I can get like I can draw some spells, I guess. Uh, Valera's gift. What, what's Valera's gift? Too versatile. Dude, I don't want to like steal other people's homework. All right, I just want like zero cost cards are broken. I did say that. Oh, uh, wishing well. Like, how do I have all this mana just to do all these things? Right. Shadow step. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't see that card. It's a four mana three three. Like, I'm playing rogue. There's probably better things to do. You know like what? I, I just Velrock with Shadow Step. Okay, that's pretty good. Not gonna lie, but it's still, like, I have to play this four mana card. I mean, yeah, no, that, that's not that's not a good. Usually, you're you're gonna have ways to spend mana on your Velrock turns, regardless. Yeah. You know what? I want to be a contrarian. Uh, chat's going crazy over this card. They're saying it's amazing. Uh, you're here to hear first one star card, right? I agree. I agree it's a one star card. This one's actually not impressive. At all. Yeah. So. Poison plus this was Valyria's gift. I, I'll take, I, I don't know. Then I almost gave it a one that I four star. Uh, <laughs> clip it. Whatever. Eight deadly poisons. I'm not even going to worry about that. All right. Um, uh, oh, it's eight deadly poisons for like. For one gift? Oh, okay, because you get the ones for zero, right? Because uh, you can get a deadly poison on your weapon. Okay. <laughs> pocket, so one gift. Oh, that? one like, gift gives plus eight attack, so you could just use this with your weapon. How much mana is that? That's uh, seven mana, right? No, that's six mana. That's seven mana, right? So it's yeah, seven I'm mana. Right. It's still so, one. No, I don't want to. Nah, it's not good. You're playing rogue. You're you're doing OP stuff regardless. This is not the OP stuff. The OP stuff you want to be doing. Yeah, I I just want to like be right, and it sucks. And then everyone's like, uh, so all right. Um, I'm with you. Okay. Um. <clears throat> next, we've got uh. Water can. After your hero attacks, summon a one one pirate that attacks a random enemy. Okay. Um. That seems underwhelming. Oh, it's, but some of the pirate toy boat. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's still like that's like a lot of um. I don't know. It's a lot of value, right? I mean, so the warrior gets three armor per hit, and warrior also used to get one card per hit for that same weapon. Like a one-one pirate that attacks a random enemy is just worse. So you need to have the synergy with the pirate, I guess. Yeah, I guess um, so. All right, I'm gonna give it two stars. You convinced me, but uh, but I want, I want to. I'm I'm a two star two star pirate. I mean, it's a 
it's a weapon for pirate rogue with raiding party, I guess. Um, yeah. Is the other weapon for weapon rogue rotating? I'm sure it is. Uh, the good one, the swordfish. Um, swordfish chat. Is, uh, I mean, you never. It's swordfish. rotating. Okay, it's rotating. So. Yeah, I'll give it to you then. Okay. This is much worse than swordfish. It's so much worse than swordfish. Though. All right, sandbox scoundrel. Miniaturize your next card costs three less. Okay. This turn. Wait, uh, oh, this turn. Okay, it's um. Mm -hmm. well, that seems like you play this, and you, you know, it's, it's like kind of like a two mana card when you think about it for combo stuff, right? Uh, but but yeah. but with the miniaturize is what makes it good. It's like it wouldn't be good on its own, but like the second one is like cheating mana. So. Yeah, second one, you can play your eight drop on turn six. And yeah. and with shadow step abuse, like this is might be insane, right? Um. Yeah, I guess. There's so much mana cheating potential. So okay, I I play this. I play like a three command card. I shadow step it on turn five. On turn six, uh, I play this. I play another card. I play the miniaturize. I play another card. I play this. I play another card. And I get like nine, like like uh, I get uh, like fifteen mana or something. And then you use yeah. Sonya, even though we've already one star. So, um. oh, is that like what you? So okay, so this card with like Shadow Step and Toy Boat, and then you draw while you're doing all that shit. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Okay, okay. that's like the the engine is Toy Boat plus this card. Right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give this a four stars. So. Sure. Yeah. I was gonna give it a one until I thought of like Toy Boat and together they, they work pretty well. Okay. Alright. Um Shoplifter Goldbeard. After you summon a pirate, summon a copy of it that attacks a random enemy, then dies. You summon a pirate, summon a copy of it that attacks a Ooh. I don't think I don't know. So I get copies, so that's good with Toy Boat, but it's like six mana, but you could cheat it out, but like I don't know, it seems awkward. Wait, do you do you have like the toy boat you can have your toy boat combo um <laughs> turn and like this at the start as well. So you have to have like a lot of mana cheat. But yeah. you go like toy boat and then like all those little miniaturized pirates with shadow step and like a bunch of pirates and just otk them dude somebody's gonna make this deck uh they're gonna win like two games with it and then everyone's gonna play it and then it's gonna have like a 38 percent win rate on hs replay but some player is gonna swear it's actually op that's like, my prediction um, and it can attack face so like you like your pirates and it doesn't clog your board because they die right away so you can just keep playing stuff and it hits face for the amount of attack so like you actually OTK them with that card. Oh, can you have like a is the the pirate that gains attack with your um weapon still in the game? Um you know, the, oh like, buccaneer right there or something like that or uh, the, the two three. Raider. Oh, the two three yeah. <laughs> and you could if only you had a way to get a bunch of deadly poison. <laughs> oh, working. So yeah, it's yeah. all together. All right, four. Four? Uh, I don't know. I still think it's. I'll give it a two. So. Right. Uh, did did I'm I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting rogue so wrong. I don't play rogue, so like yeah, I. Uh, I, just, I I'm don't actually I, I. I don't think that card is. I think the other two are likely pretty good, and that one is a. Uh, it's a spicy four that is probably uh, just trash, but. Yeah. It could be really good, I think. Yeah, so everything must go. Summon two random four cost minions. Cost one less for every card you've drawn this turn. Um, you ain't called it. So, um, I mean, like at the end of your pop off, summon two four cost minions. I feel like at the end of your pop off, you, you should be fine already. That's a good point. Yeah, you don't even have board space half the time, right? Yeah. Uh, this chat is location rotating. It's rotating, okay. right? The yeah. the the big so okay. 
A lot of oh. the Miracle Rogue stuff is good today. Seven. Triple sevens makes this zero mana. So you can just run a deck with triple sevens and then play that for free. Yeah, that seems pretty easy to do. <clears throat> Um, I'll give it, uh, Tr Trixie is rotating. I'm going to give it two stars. Uh, it might not be good now, but I think I could see it being good. So yeah, I gave it a one star. I still don't see it, but okay. Rogue has some stuff that might be complete trash, but it might also be like pretty good. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's good design when cards are hard to evaluate in my opinion. So yeah, I like uh -huh. the, the Rogue designs. I liked the, I think the priest designs were nice. The Paladin designs were actually nice. So. The Druid designs were nice. The others were not, but that that's pretty good average. Yeah. Um so we're up next we're up to Shaman, uh pop up book. Deal two damage, summon two zero one frogs with taunt. Um That's a lot of things for one mana. Yeah, and deals two damage and taunts are four uh, like okay. I don't know why, but like this is, uh, I'm going to go with, I, I, I like it. We'll go, we'll go with four. Seems super oh. efficient. Uh, I want three. I think it's just solid. All right. Um, Fairy Tale Forest. Draw a battle cry minion. It costs one less, but location. So it's a lot slower. Um, interesting. And you can only do it twice. Yeah, I mean, this is reminds me of like the the, the Demon Hunter card draw, like two minions or the all casts. They cost one less, right? Or does it draw two rush minions? They cost one less, right? Yeah, but um, this is like so much worse. Yeah, uh, it's kind of like rush. Yeah. Um. It's just kind of like bad, right? Yeah, it's bad. Um, bad. Doctor Holiday. Okay, you see, where you run it, and you only run Doctor Holiday. Doctor Holiday, um, and uh, and literally no other minions, so that you always get the Doctor Holiday. Um, <laughs> you run um, two of these. And you're Highlander Shaman. Two of these, but you need to draw it. Um, yeah, otherwise, so. you're yeah um it's bad so, it's terrible. okay um yeah i'll, I'll give it uh, you know what i'm gonna give it a two stars uh I, I still think it could see play so i'm not sure um all right incredible value discover a four cost minion set its attack and health to seven this is so bad wait well, why, why why is it why is it bad so three it's mana seven seven. And this is a seven mana seven seven. Am I not understanding something? Oh I thought it was summon it. Oh, it goes to your hand. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, never mind. That's one. Okay. I was like <laughs> I was like, this is so good. Right? Okay. <laughs> hey. I was like, well, the power creep on this? Am I gonna missing something? Okay, yeah, one. So, it's sleep deprived, no hands is fun to watch, dude. It's rough, dude. I'm struggling. Um, all right. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't think I'm going all night. I don't think I'm, uh, we'll see. I don't think I'm gonna stream after this. I need to conserve energy. All right. Um, baking soda volcano. Uh, life steal, deal ten damage randomly split amongst all minions. Overload one. This is pretty good, right? Like, yep. like life steal. Yeah, this is like life steal. It's insane, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give it a four stars. Ch I give it three. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I would. I don't like giving four stars to a board clear when. Every board clear right now is like so overpowered, but it doesn't win the game. But I guess I it has, also but has life steal, so it's also like a heal at the same time. So that that that's why it gets the four stars. So you know, yeah. like if you're aggro and I do this, uh, you're very sad. So true, true. It's like a rancor, right. but better. 
All right. Sand Art Elemental. Um, miniaturize. Give your hero plus one attack and win fury this turn. Is this insane? I feel like this is insane. It's probably... Like can you get, like, attack to... I mean, giving your hero win fury has always been, like, insane. Is there, like, a rug biter for one mana or something? I don't know, like, but, uh, I bet... Wait, related, um... Uh, I bet there is. I bet there's got to be something, right? Gets a mini too, yeah. Oh, you should do it with Ignis, right? Or something like you, you get a bad weapon, and then you make <laughs> oh, it. Or or Doctor yeah. Holiday. Uh, you run it just in the I'm Highlander pretty Shaman. Pretty underwhelming with Doctor Holiday. Though. I still take it, right? I don't know. I, I'm gonna give this. I just like giving out fours. You get a four. You get a four. Right? I'll give it a four. Yeah, so I give this one a two. I don't. Unless I see like a synergy card, this this is definitely not good enough on its own. Oh, this is a card of like the moment there is a synergy card, it's like oh, absurd. It, it, it is okay, but I'm okay. I'll give it three. You're right. <clears throat> you know, like yeah, I I generally like rating in a way that says like okay, if there's no synergy with this card, but like they print some reasonable synergy, like if you could pull out cards from Wild, for example, would it be OP? You know, so because of if you have like a card that says like draw an elemental that costs 10 less but there's just no good elementals that card's still strong it just there's no good synergy right now right so um yeah. all right hagatha the Hagatha's fabled draw two spells that cost five or more transform them into slimes that ca that cast spells what are the slimes are they like oh shit so like Ooh. you you can get like the ten mana spell that copies like every minion in your hand and like just throws it on board. Yeah. And then it's gonna cost one mana. And it always like draws the high spells, so you can still have low spells, right? Yeah. My god, this is good. Alright, uh I'll give four, so this is insane. I mean, is the 10 minute spell I'm thinking about still in the game? Because that, that spell on its own just wins the game if you don't get back around it. Yeah. Yo, are you listening? It's not? Wait, what? Oh, it's not. Okay, the 10 minute spell is not in the game, but still. I'm giving okay. it four stars, anyways. Yeah. One's up in a time. Oh, that's a five or more cost spell. Pretty underwhelming, though. I mean, I could do it. Uh, I could just get, like, the. You know, you can get the summon four copies of something, right? So, oh, yeah, the Ragnaros, you know, lots of things. Yeah. Wait, oh, it doesn't cost one? Wait, what? Wait, they cost how They cost the amount of spell the spell costs? Oh, it costs as much as the spell. I saw a oh. fairy tale slime being one. Uh, oh, it's one, one star. One star. And it, and it's a one it's a one mana card then it's a one one every time now. Is it the stats of the card like good? Oh, okay. Well, all right. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's gone to it's one. Bad. Yeah. It's a five mana five five. Oh, six mana six six. Oh, it gets the stats of whatever whatever cost. Okay. Now I'm I'm putting it back to three. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the emotional swings. All right, our drive would be crazy. I'll give it a three then, so because I still kind of like it. So yeah, okay, yeah. agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Chat all, all over the place with this card. Okay, um, I mean that just shows you how important reading is. All right. <clears throat> yeah. All right, all right. You want to read the next next one? Once upon a time. Yeah, once upon a time, summon a random three cost beast, dragon, elementor, and murloc. So summon three, four minions with tribes. <clears throat> um, it's a spell that costs six. Um, this would be good if you could play it for one mana. <laughs> <laughs> it would be really good for one mana. <laughs> but it, it's not happening. Um... um I don't know. I, I mean, the spell on its own is like you'd never play that in a competitive deck. Uh, like, of course. Yeah. But, I mean, I wouldn't play that as a six mana and add a six mana six six. Wait, six mana six six plus that, but I have to play a five mana four four four. 
but it draws it. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, I'll get, I could give it like I could see like giving it a two. Like if it has insane synergy with stuff, it's, it's... no. The card itself sucks. I, don't, I give it a one. No, I don't care. Yeah, I'm on the one train. So. All right, that's one. Shutter Bot looks like it will be a good card because it looks like Shutter One. All right, your next battle cry triggers three times, but can't damage three. Okay, what happens when you your miniaturized triggers three times? <laughs> I don't know how that works, but um, but yeah, some people say you play this and then you play Mutinous and Wild and you eat their whole hand, right? Did you oh. really just ask that? I don't know. It might go to nine times. So I was yeah, like, never mind. I, I it never worked like that before, but maybe this time it does. I, I, look, 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 look. You never assume anything about the way these cards work. All right, half the time they don't make sense with the language. So <laughs> your account with roots, though, it sounds great. All right, <laughs> can't wish for more wishes. All right. Um, yeah, these things happen all the time, and everyone, you know, I, you, you don't go in assuming, anyways. Um, some people think Garrett Rogue wasn't supposed to work, uh, but it did. Um, okay. Hmm. I mean, uh, should we just give it like a, a four because it's going to be good? Yeah, okay, let's give it a four. We don't have to think about it, so. <laughs> All like right. it's mutinized. You get you get a like you get two different battle cries to trigger it three times. Like it has to be insane. Yeah. Um. It can't uh, damage the enemy hero though. So like it's not like that. That's a big, big downside. But it, it has to. You just have like to it's... find the like the right card that synergizes. Like, I don't know. You just run. I don't know what battle cries are broken in this way. You know. Uh, like <clears throat> Mutanus would be really good, but actually, so shady, but still. Um. Anyways, I mean, you can always get infinite value if that's what you need. Yeah. Um. Sandstorm count. All right. Um. Shining Sentinel. Um. Battle Cry. Summon. A copy of this. This is an interesting one. Like, this is really, really annoying. Like, this is really annoying, right? I mean, I mean, you can, I guess, that you can make a board of this with Shutter Block. Oh, that's so easy to do, too. Yeah. And you can't target him? Oh, my God, it looks so annoying. Yeah. I'm, like usually clunky cards are bad but like this looks legitimately good especially because you can get like a, i'm gonna give it three yeah i agree all right give a, a wish upon a star give plus two plus three to all your bets all right um survival of the fittest but seven mana plus two plus three instead of ten mana plus four plus four in a deck in a class with no ramp yeah, what you're supposed to do here is play uh, Hagathon 5, then you play Shutter Rock on 6, and then you play this, and then you get uh, plus uh, 6, plus 9, and then your opponent kills you, right? So. Um. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. But it's like, when, your opponent, when you play No Rush, uh, they need to make a No Rush 10. Mode where you can't attack face for the first 10, to, 10 turns of her stone. I think that'd be great. Anyways. Um, when, like, everyone played Topsy Turvy Priest and just always have the OTK ready, like, no matter the board state by turn 10. Yeah. Um. Yeah. um okay. Yeah, this is a one star, right? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get one star. Come. Okay. Alright, end game. Alright, we're up to Warlock, alright? Yep. 
End game. Resurrect your last demon that died. Oh. I am sure that's really good. In some world. Is Thaddeus in the game? I'm assuming no, because they wouldn't print that. Thaddeus isn't is an undead. Um, oh. Sargeras is in the game, but it's usually hard to... So if you have taunts and they kill three force first and kill the Sargeras, um, and no. I think Sargeras would still work on the portal, right? Um, the way it's kind of now designed, right? So... Is it... Wait. Does the Sargeras, if you revive it, does it work, chat? On... Because it's revived? Nah, it, it went so... Oh. I mean, you don't get a second portal. Yeah. But I guess the effects would work. Sargeras has been, like, inconsistent in the language, and they even changed it, so... And the, the problem with that card is that, like, you need, like, a big demon for that, and then your big demon gets renoed, and then it didn't die, so that card doesn't work. Oh, that's so, true. Like, yeah. right now, it's just not... Like you can't build your deck around it. If you don't build your deck around it, the card's useless. So I guess it's right now. It's, it's, like it's the last one, so so so. But but it works in three two some of the spells. So only work on some one of those. Well, you re resurrect the last one. You died, so you know which one it is, right? Um. But, yeah, but like it's only good if it's like a really big one. Yeah. All right, I'll give it a two. I think the card is like potentially good, but never good in the Reno uh, environment. Um, <clears throat> why can't I see this many card? Curse Champion, give a friendly minion death rattle seven two copies of minion that are dormant for two three turn. Okay, I don't know what to think about this. What do you guys think, chat? Oh yeah, I mean we have to think of what minion this was built for. What minion is it built for? I have no clue. Um Bella Rock. <laughs> Bella Rock. <laughs> Double patties. Oh yeah. Yeah, actually. Oh, Doomguard, oh Doomguard is back, right? I forgot about that, Jay Alexander. Uh Doomguard is back. So you play this, and then, and then it falls on your hand, and you lose your combo. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's good with charge stuff. I don't know. It might be... I'll give it, like, a two, because the, there might be a scenario where that card gets busted. But, I mean, I, on its own, that card's really bad. I'm going to give it a two, because I'm lazy about thinking all the possibilities. So that's the cover your bases. All right. Um, all right, Malfarok, Rook. Battle cry attack your hero. Um, I don't know about this one. Do you want to five six go five to your own hero? I mean, this like, seems really bad. No. Um, multi giants back in standard. So. Oh. Um, oh, imagine you have a weapon up, <laughs> and you don't think about it, and your weapon's like really <laughs> big. You just play that, and it kills itself. Wait, can you can't kill yourself on your own turn, can you? Like that, or does it? Oh, I guess it would, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, it would. But there's the weapon that heals for two. But um. Oh, it's, so you it's could lord like, minus one mana. Yeah. You have you could have the weapon that uh, heals you for two, instead of taking five. But like, you, you, I mean, that, that, if that card was an eight, eight, I don't know that it like. I mean, I guess you'd take eight damage, but I still don't think it would be good. Eight, 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 but, you know. I'm gonna give it two stars, so um, I could see it seeing play. So I give it one because like taking but, five damage. Yeah, I guess the four mana five six never saw play like really. So all right, um, sketch artist, battle cry, draw a shadow spell, get a temporary copy of it. Um, what are like shadow spells I want? So it's like, okay, I still get the shadow spell, but sometimes I get two of them that I, if I want to use one right away, right? Yeah, and more coil. Is that in the game? Yep. So, I mean, I don't know. It seems like a, like if you have more than one shadow spell in your deck, it's just like three out of three, three draw a spell. That's bad. Because um, like you can never like know what shadow spell you're going to get. 
Drain Soul, yeah. it's okay, I guess. But, like, it's five yeah. mana. Bad. You never play that in conservative, no. Yeah, especially, like, in Warlock, a class that has tap, you know? Um, I, yeah, I think I'm gonna give it one. All right. Tabletop role player, miniaturize, battle cry, give give a friendly demon plus two plus attack and, and immune this turn. What year is this? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This seems pretty bad. Like, isn't that like worse than Dark Iron Dwarf? What does Dark Iron Dwarf do? The form at a 4 4 battle cry, give two plus two attack to a friendly minion this turn. He gives it immune though. And he has a miniaturize. Yeah. Sure, but it has to be a demon, and it's long, like this. Is, I mean, we're no longer in the era of Hearthstone where this card is okay. But it has a two keyword. <laughs> All right, I'm, you sold me on one star, but like, you know, it's probably better than Dark Eyed Dwarf, right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know it's better than Dark Eyed Dwarf, but like, <coughs> not by enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Game Master Nemzi, draw a demon, death rattle, swap places with it. Um, what does swap places with it mean? Oh, it means like you play, it means the, it goes back to your hand and a demon goes on board. Oh. So this is like the OP card that if you draw it, your deck is going to work. And if you don't draw it, your deck is not going to work. Yeah. So I guess it's a four four star. And oh, I, don't, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's death rattle. So it's kind of like um, like the old. Uh, but the it's lackey. actually the, the lackey. But the lackey, you wanted to kill it, right? So, but you can you can do this over and over again. So, so you don't have to do it just once, right? Yeah, oh, no, wait. It, it only works. Okay. Well, well, well. Kangor kind of sucks, though, right? Like I don't know, but. All right, I'll just give it four stars because that's what everyone thinks, and it's you know everyone wants to pull out pull out a Void Lord. Everyone has dreams of Void Lord greatness. So, is is Void Lord back in standard? Uh, I don't think so. There's a new Void Lord though. I th I think I saw there was a new Void Lord. Oh, that's like a uh, Doom Guard with no discards. Yeah, and then you could then, then you could make it Dormit. <laughs> it's all coming. Oh. Through. <laughs> it's, yeah. all, it's all coming together so when you spend like 80 40 mana over four turns uh you can set up the perfect deal 20 damage otk with no taunts in the way so um revert nemzies um, i don't know how that works yeah um anyways um all right let's go to the next card okay i actually don't believe it's gonna be four stars uh i'll, I'll make it three <laughs> yeah okay yeah. um wheel of death Destroy your deck in five turns. Destroy the enemy hero. So, um, oh. somebody says you do this. You don't actually have to be uh, a Highlander deck, but then you have Sargeras, you have Reno, you have you have the weapon. Um, I mean, five surviving five turns is a long freaking time, though. You know, and it's like eight mana. Like they could just make this zero mana, right? Like why does it have to be eight mana? You know what I mean? <laughs> zero mana. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm to destroy your deck in five turns and destroy the heavy hero. Like, you know, that's still, you know, it's failing in standard. I mean, the point is, like, it's the tempo for the eight mana is the hardest part here, right? Yeah, yeah, but I mean... Um, this has to be busted in some way, in some world. <laughs> like, you make a deck that can just survive five turns somehow. Like you know the entire you, your deck is survival for after that card and survival for before that card, and then yeah. you just you win. I'm gonna give it a uh, one star. Oh, I oh do I remember, dude? I remember uh, what's an old Rin? You know, where you'd make uh, you delete their deck, and then they lost resources. I I liked old Control Warlock. It was fun. Oh, uh, by the way, you can you can put stuff back in your deck like Fizzle. Yeah. Or like you have many ways to put stuff back in your deck, right? Yeah, so you could play this and then you go fizzle, but like it, it just that this costs eight mana. That's so much mana, you know what I mean? Like and you have to I give it four stars. I'm giving this one star. 
Actually, no, you're right. I give it one star. <laughs> <laughs> I like how normally you've been convincing me, but uh, it's like, uh, yeah, you, 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 you couldn't uh, deny how bad it is. Good. <laughs> All right. Uh, dude, okay. Let's see. Um, next one. Wretched Queen. Uh, Death Rattle. Okay, this is the new Void Lord. Uh, summon two, four, six death knights. Uh, knights with taunt. Um, oh, and the knights are not demons, so that the cards work. I'm assuming, like the other cards, like that would summon the eight drop and not the knights, right? Um, or are the knights also demons? Wait, what's the eight drop? Why can't I hold hover over these oh, knights? knights? Okay, okay. Knights okay. are demons. Yeah, they are demons. And this is the card you play with Game Master and MZ with uh, Doom Guards. Yeah. I mean, I, hold this. the more I think about it, the more I don't really believe in it. Because, like, Power Creep, and this is not this is just not stronger than Cube Lock. Yeah, even Sap is a card now. So it's just like, if this is ever good, I just run Sap and I win the game, right? Yeah. The, like, this deck is worse than Cube Block four years after Cube Block. I guess it's all trash. Yeah, all right. One star. Yeah, I'm I'm one starring Nemzi in this. <laughs> you convinced me. I'm gonna I'm gonna one star. Wait, shoot. Oh, all the warlock cards are one star now for me. I, I'm retroactively going one star on Nemzi, right? Um, and one star on Richard. Okay. Oh, and the next card is uh, also like it's so clunky. It's nine mana for like two big demons. So. Summon two copies of a two copies of demons in your deck. Yeah, wasn't there another like? Oh, this is you just playing a void lord on turn nine. <clears throat> All right, we'll just give it one stars to everything. Yeah. When's what's like the last big archetype that was like high tier competitive? I'm gonna say big demon hunter doesn't count, um, because it was more like mid tier competitive. Big Hunter was never a thing. With Manichi? Big Hunter? Oh, oh, oh with uh with Hound Hunter. Yeah, Hound Hunter was yeah. Was it was pretty good. Yeah. Uh with the weapon and stuff, yeah, it was pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Um and then the uh table good. flip. Yeah. Deal three damage to all enemy minions. Cost one less for each other card in your hand. So this is just like two, three mana, deal three damage to all enemy minions. It's like really, really you, strong card. For an priority. audio amplifier, it could be zero mana. True. I mean, this is a, to me, it's a clear three star, very, very solid. And this is a very clear four star in my mind. This card's busted. So. Yeah, I just don't get four stars to, uh, Two board clears. Yeah, that's a prince. I I do get four stars to board clear, so um yeah, there we go. A lot, a lot of you're you're right though, there are a lot of good board clears. So alright. So Warlock uh I uh, once I don't we, love the Warlock cards, but Yeah, Nemzi I was like I don't know why I thought it was good for a second. Um anyways. Let me go get some more water and then we'll go to the warrior cards. One second. Tutor rats? Oh, dirty rats. Draw two taunt minions. Oh, that's funny. Um, yeah, it's the only taunt minion you'd ever play in Warrior. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Um, quality assurance. Draw, draw two taunt minions. Uh, draw, it's draw two dirty rats, chat was saying. Because um, you're a warrior. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's taunt warrior. 
I don't Power's know. Power's never worked, and I, I believe it's never going to work. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to have a prejudice against taunts because um, they're just, they seem to, like, Taunt Warrior just seems to be terrible. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give it one star, even though there are other draw two decks that, uh, yeah, I'm going to yeah, give it one it's star. Fun. It's one star for me, too, because, like, if you only have 30 rats, then it's bad. Because you don't want a card that draws two of something you only have two of. Uh, safety goggles, gain six armor, cost zero if you don't have any armor. Ooh. That's kind of cool, right? I mean, the problem with that, it costs, it costs one card. Like, and, but like, it, you it have cost card, zero. The entire thing your card does is getting armor. Ironhide isn't that much better. Like heavy plate, even though it's tradable, I know it's tradable. I I think zero. Like I can play this with uh four, uh four mana with sanitize. You know, like um <clears throat> when I'm under pressure. Like I'm I'm giving this four stars. I think it's great. Four. Okay, I give it one star. <laughs> All right, so, so. This this is like in order to crush aggro decks even more when you're playing control. <laughs> like why? That's not what you. Do. I don't know. I don't think it's what. Oh, okay. So if I'm doing my pop off right, um, and I this, I go my two one threes, and I just play this first, and I have a, a, a for my Odin, um, I have a deal a bunch of damage. Like you always have armor. <laughs> I always have armor. Not if my opponent's being aggressive, right? Yeah, they could leave you at one armor. But I guess yeah, so now my opponent has to leave me at one armor, and then I just have enough mana to do this anyways, right? <clears throat> all right, it's still one star. Oh, the, the draw armor card, that's so true, all right? I can just play this on turn, <laughs> turn one. <laughs> okay, six armor pass. All right, anyways. Um, I, I, yeah, I believe in my four star rating. Anyways, all right. <clears throat> Wreck'em and deck em. Choose a friendly mech, summon a copy of it that attacks a random enemy, then dies. Um, that seems really bad. I, I, I can't think of a reason to play that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it one. Big death metal mech? Is that a thing? Oh, there is one big death metal mech. Two big death metal mechs later. So maybe. Yeah, do you always see the synergy cards first because they're lower mana, and then you see the big payoff later, and then you're like, maybe that card wasn't as good as, good, bad as I thought. But I'll give it one for now, and maybe change it later. All right. Uh, boom wrench. All right, miniaturize. Ooh, a miniaturized weapon. That's the first one of those. Death yeah. rattle. Trigger the death rattle of a friendly mech. Okay. Oh, that card was good for three mana and rogue. But then you get two of them, and it has yeah, to be and you can use the second one to I don't know, like you could play it on both turns if you really wanted to uh, get something right. Um, <clears throat> well, I don't know how this one. I'll I'll give it. The effect seems reasonably powerful. I'll give it yeah, three good. stars. Yeah. I haven't seen the synergies, but. I agree it's a three star card regardless of like at some point there's going to be like a good card and that card's going to be a staple. After you gain armor each turn, summon a lap patron. Uh, the first time. Card. Okay, th I mean, this is a meme card. It's yeah, card. it's one. If it was just every time you gain armor, at least you could like fill up a board. It still yeah. might not even be good. Like, why is it only the first time? This is a slap in the face. Oh, oh, oh. Turn four, if you made sure to not have armor. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm a two, four, and a three, three. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, this card's so bad. Why? It could make it three mana. It would still be unplayable. Yeah. All right. Chemical bill. Summon uh, the highest cost minion from your hand, then deal five damage to it. Um, I don't know about this. Like, is there I'm trying to make a death rattle warrior? 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip Star Warrior synergy. I want to skip this one and see the synergy. Um, yeah. So, all right, next we got uh, Fireworker. Summon two boom bots uh, that may explode for death rattle. Um, oh, this is rich. <laughs> this is rude. with a uh, chemical spill. You can uh, summon this card uh, and have <laughs> two, two boom bots for five mana and two cards. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so. All right. I mean, that card is like, absolute like trash for sure. Yeah, I'll give this one How star. Can you can give it enough synergy to make it playable. I don't think you can invent a card that makes that card good. Fireworker? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could invent a card that says, like, if you summon a boom bot, you win the game, but, like, <laughs> it's, it's just so bad. All right. Testing dummy. Um, taunt, death rattle, deal, deal damage randomly split amongst all enemies. I mean, that's a big boy. Um... I mean, this certainly is like a, this is gonna work like uh, dude the players like uh, i don't know these cards are always like don't actually work but yeah i mean you have the weapon on four you coin this on five and then you also it's like a four eight taunt that deals eight damage twice split around Ooh, all. that's kind of true yeah this is kind of insane with the weapon all right because of the weapon i'm gonna give it two stars so yeah <laughs> Yeah, I agree that because of the weapon and the insane synergy, it goes from one to two. Yeah. So I was thinking of like that old priest card that the, the undead that deal three damage to like all enemies or something like that. Um, that you'd run in like the old, uh, like some of the old priest lists. But, um, but like that wasn't even that good. Um, and this seems worse to this for board, but it can go face. And, uh, but yeah, anyways. Um, okay. All right, Inventor Boom, Battle Cry, resurrect two friendly mechs that cost five or more. They immediately attack random enemies. So you can get like two of these uh, testing dummies um, and they attack random enemies. That's pretty good. I don't know, right? Yeah, I mean, that card has to be really good. Um, yeah. I was thinking you chemical spill for Inventor Boom, but then the battle cry doesn't trigger, so it's just five minutes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'll give I'll, I'll give Boom three stars. So yeah, it's resurrect stuff in a like in a world where Reno exists. So yeah, that's so true. Reno's okay. gonna warp the game for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, bot face. Taunt, after this takes damage, get two random minis. Um, oh, so like miniatures of m minis of random miniature minions. So you could get the Shadow Walk one. Yeah. So you're supposed to pull this out with like um, the thing, I guess. And then you get the Shadow Walk one, you do it with a boom. I mean, who? Uh, so. You know, the payoff is not worth anything. Like, Even like the five mana spell, like, okay, we get a freaking three three for five mana and two cards, and we get two minis, and sometimes they're going to be terrible, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not impressed. All right, one star. And chemical spill. I mean, it has to. I'm going to give it two stars because I, I don't see a card with, which it's like really good, but it has to be really good. Actually, three stars. The card's just. Okay. Putting a minion from your hand and then dealing five damage. Actually, it's a four star card. I don't. I don't care. I'm giving like, it two stars. I'm not a believer yet. So. Either neutral or like a just like any ten drop is on board, with its effect. Like it's good. Oh, Grom, dormant location on the four, then spill graves up. Wait, dormant location. Is there dormant location? Wait, what? Um, I'm guessing it's a neutral. Last set, okay. Oh no, it's the it's it's a card that exists, a legendary that summons a location that makes a minion dormant from like 
a while ago, but oh, yeah, no, I, okay. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is, uh, it's not happening. Okay. Um, all right, let's go with, um, they're not listening. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'm just trying to get the, I'm trying to just, uh, make decisions quickly. Um, and instinctively and not think about them too much. It's more fun that way. All right. Um, okay. All right. So we got, now we're at standard. Um, wait, standard, uh, we've got, uh, Zillix Deluxe 3000. Holy, like, uh, this is a lot of thinking. When you're building your deck, customize your really, oh, so you customize it at the wait oh you customize it in the deck building process yeah i think i, I never understood what it is but i i think that's what it is so how many can you have together like all of them oh it's done in pre-deck building okay so um so it's nine mana oh, it's cost two less choices, one you have to two of them. okay okay so let's see um, Wait, how does it? I get uh, okay. But how do I choose what 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 things I want? I feel like it's gonna be OP and it's gonna be playable in every deck because there's so many different things, right? Two modules. Battle Cry summon a copy of this. Ooh, twin module. All right, it's gonna be it's gonna be four star. <laughs> I don't, I'm just, I don't, I'm I don't just want to figure it, it out. Yeah, I agree. Uh, just give it four stars. Um, this is uh, too much thinking. All mm -hmm. right, Corridor Sleeper. Um, I, Chad, do we give it, do I give it four stars? Just to say like, <laughs> just to say, oh wait, Corridor Sleeper, do I give it four stars? Just to say like, screw, screw that this card was a uh, early release. You know, it's uh, it's not. I can't even see it. All right, the quarter sleeper is a one star, so whatever. Yeah, I wasn't even aware it was in the game when I was playing. Yeah, I mean, probably also a lot of people haven't bought the 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 mini the the pre order yet. But um, <clears throat> all right, gift wrap whelp battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, give it. And this plus one plus one. Um, oh, dragon so it's a freeze. one mana three two and uh, for dragon good? freeze you have to summon dragons. Yeah. Oh, so you um, can play like the. It. I don't know. All right, is a one mana three two good? In the... All right, I'll give him. I'll give him two because I'm influenced by chat. Yeah. Same. I give it a two because, like, in the Dragon Priest, you need cheap dragons to get an extra turn. <clears throat> All right. Pretty good. Battle Cry. Okay. Next is uh, Battle Cry. Scrab Keyboard. Discovery two cost card. Now, that's just a copy of, like, this used to be a two mana card, and it's discovered a three cost card. Yeah. I mean, this is much better than two to discover a three. Because, but. I mean, um, isn't this kind of like planted evidence now? You play this. Um, I guess the first one can't be, have like a death rattle, right? Can't be keep on panning. All right. Um, cactus, but much worse. Yeah, cactus is not even that good right now. Okay, I'll give it one star. Yeah, no, not good. Um, tar slime. Has plus one attack. Oh, okay, so it's a one mana slime. Um, one mana two three taunt during your opponent's turn, but you can't attack with it. That's yeah. it's not gonna make it into a competitive deck. Is a problem. Yeah, I think so. Like it's not the way the game is designed to play. Like one drops to stay on. So, yeah. So uh, yeah, I think it's one one star. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um. 
Treasure, treasure distributor. After you summon a pirate, give it plus one attack. Is this good? It's a pirate cheap pirate for the, mech, the for the for the pirate robe deck, and uh, on its own, it's garbage for sure. All right, I'm gonna give oh, it two uh, two stars just because it says pirate and it's a one drop. So oh, wait, remember the thing that just shoots your pirates and at <laughs> random enemies? They all have plus one attack because of this guy. Oh yeah, that's true. So, uh, this is all right. Arms dealer. Okay, I'm very influential right or influenceable right now. All right, I can't even say the word. Dude. All right. Um, <clears throat> sing along, buddy. Good. Your hero power triggers twice. Wait, what does that even mean? When you hear power, it hero powers twice. Okay. So, oh, you could do this with the priest OTK. Um, you could do this with the new hero that you deal six damage and discover two undead, I guess. Uh, I mean, never put that in any deck. The problem. Yeah, the problem is you don't want to like it so bad in the early game, but I could see it for like an OTK. Um, I'm not gonna count this card out, so I'm gonna give it uh, two stars. All right, I gave it one. <laughs> what is this me? No answer. All right, all right, all right. Uh, bucket of soldiers, death rattle, summon five uh, one one soldiers with random effects. I mean, if you can get this killed, it's not bad, right? That's an egg. Yeah. It's like, like Devil's Work. But think about all, like how many corpses this is, you know? Oh, for my corpse deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could buff it up with the corpse card too, so it just fits in naturally because you could buff it up and then play it and it dies, right? Yeah. All right. This is three stars. Ah, uh, dude, I'm gonna give it four stars. Uh, just cause, uh, I, okay, I'm gonna give it three stars. I changed my mind, but I think it's pretty good. Oh, it's not an undead. Yeah, but you, you buff your undead stuff with it still. So. Oh yeah, it's true. Okay, it's not undead. <clears throat> All right, uh, card grader. If you've cast the spell while holding this, discover a card from your. Wait, if you cast a spell while holding this. Uh, discover a card from your deck. Very underwhelming. Yeah. Three mana, two, four tracking. Wait, people are saying this is good? I mean, it's definitely not like... It's a one or a two. Like, it's not... Uh... <clears throat> um, well, I'll give it a two because I'm a coward and uh, I don't want to make tough decisions, so... Um, yeah, sounds good. Like one sees no play, two sees like fringe play in Highlander decks. All right, um, that seems reasonable. All right, <clears throat> clearance promoter, death rattle reduced the cost of your of two spells in your hand by one. It's a death um, rattle. I feel like it's just gonna be bad. I, I mean, yeah, yeah that's true. Three, two. One okay, three, two, but one bad three two. All right, it's okay. If you it's don't get which spells is. It's just it's never gonna be good. Yeah. All right. You can miss me. Um. All right. Next. Next, we've got cosplay contestant. After your opponent plays a minion, transform into a three four copy of it. Oh, this is like a. <clears throat> This is, there was a card that looked like that before, so this is like, just like a... It's like, it's kind of like the opposite of creepy painting. Because uh, it dies, but... but this card already yeah. existed in some different ways. Our okay. bigger Celestial. Oh, was hard series Celestial. But yeah, it was a 4 mana 5, 6, right? So, this is just worse. This is yeah. so bad. It's like, yeah, it's, it's like... It's, it's what, flavor. It's a flavor card. Yeah, the flavor is uh, not very tasty. All right, one star. Uh, next, we've got we've got Floppy Hydra. Death Rattle, shuffle copy of this into your deck with permanently doubled attack and health. Uh, so you can just 
This Keep, is like the card you were talking about in Druid that was never good, but three mana instead of one. Yeah. Well, the bottom feeder is never good, but you can not get it on the bottom. Dude, 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 these are the cards that are never good that I always want to be good. Uh, I mean, if you only play it like five times, it's already like, what, 32 attack or something? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it two stars just because I want to believe, all right? Even though gets, this card is... I mean, it does, like, at some point, it's just like, you don't have to play that many times for it to be like 160, like Yeah, 160. I tried this with the Priest card, the 4-3. I try putting these cards in every deck. You always think, all right, this is going to be its time, and they always suck. Like, they always don't make it. You know? Yeah, but if you, play, like, if you play for an entire day, you're probably going to get, like, one good clip. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so Dane, yeah, Dane's going to love this card, right? So... <laughs> The uh, but uh, anyways, um right, mess maker. All right, life steal taunt, uh, death rattle deal one damage to all minions. Oh enemies. That, oh enemies. Yeah. Um, and this seems like a card that Druid would like to have sometimes. Yeah, I mean, just dealing one to all, getting the oh, life steal. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, I think your opponent can just play around it. It's an uh, unstable goal for one more mana and life steal. <clears throat> it's bad. If it was two mana, it would be unstable goal with life steal, and that would probably be fine, like nowadays. It's called swipe. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll give it. Uh, you know. I don't know. I'm going to give it two stars just because I don't know. I, uh, I see your logic though. I, I, I'm always skeptical to give, I gave spammy a good rating when other people were like, uh, it's to five mana because cards that do things that, uh, that are neutrals that are, sometimes are good. Anyways. Um, yeah, no, that's fair. uh, nostalgic initiate miniaturize the first time you cast a spell, Gain plus two plus two. That's not even good in the arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can miniaturize. You can play it, and then you can play the miniaturized one. And so you do this, this prep. Then you get a four five and a three three for four mana. Yeah, and you but you put that card in your deck, and you have to like, you know, then it's like the payoff. It's not good enough. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get you, you. I was just trying to. All right. One star. All right. Oh yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. Questing adventure is so much better. Okay. That's a good point. All right. Observer of mysteries. Cast two random secrets. At the start of your turn, destroy them. Ooh. But they can be any. But they. But they be from your class or. Does anyone know, no, like... No, they don't have to be from your class. Mm. Oh, you can uh, shutter block and then cast six random secrets. Oh, but it's five max, right? Yeah. But that that would be kind of, like, a, like that buys a turn a lot of the time when you do that. Dude, dude this card is, like, uh, can I just, I could just shove this in, like, my Highlander decks just if he'd be annoying on turn three. You know? Like, mm. Like, think about how mad you are when you want to go, like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just getting a freezing trap. Uh, the secrets that trigger at the start of your turn, do they just get destroyed, like, plagiarize and... Uh, oh, that's a good question. Cover from a different class? I think that would be terrible design, so I'm going to go with no. Just because, like, that's such bad design if it is, right? Oh, and maybe those secrets are rotating, too. I'm not sure. But, I mean, yeah, so, I don't know. Uh, I'll give it... I'm going to give it two stars. Yeah, I agree with two stars. It's not a bad card. Like right. in Rogue with Shadow Staff. Yeah, I just do it every turn and like procrastinate time. Um, all right, Plucky Paintfin, um, Poisonous Rush, draw a Rush minion. I mean, this is po this this is a uh, oh wait no it doesn't have rush. It doesn't have rush. It's bad. Okay, yeah, I thought it had rush, and then I was like, oh, single target removal, and then I saw no rush, and then it's bad. Yeah. All right, this is this is one. 
Why did they even make this card? This is uh and the the painters all have like very good art, to be fair. Like the art is cool. It's like flavor. <clears throat> arena pack filler. I mean, yeah, I guess it is a good arena. Poison cards tend to be good in arena, right? All right. AI what generated card. So, um, um, Rumble enthusiast. After you play the left or rightmost card in your hand, deal one damage to an enemy. Okay, it's a random enemy. Okay, this is like Altruist, but <laughs> yeah. it doesn't deal what to all, but it's neutral. I mean, so this is like a rogue card, if you can play a, a thousand cards in one turn. <laughs> yeah, this is, it's Altruist, but just bad. Like, just out of, what is this, this card? I don't okay, know. I could see an APM rogue have Exodia with this. Yeah, they did like uh, they did. Uh, you know the Jambray deck with like uh, you play all spells except for Shadow Step Prep. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying, but I'm gonna say this sucks. So uh, I'm gonna go one. Yeah, no, I agree. All right, <clears throat> Sweet and Snow Flurry, Battle Cry. Get two random temporary frost spells. Um. Ooh, these these temporary things are. Uh, I feel like this is bad. Like I I don't want to play this on the same turn, right? I know I can get the miniaturized version, but yo, wait 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 wait. You can get the zero mana card for. Is it? It's from your class, right? If you have no, first spell. Only discovers from your class. This is always going to be just uh, random. Yeah, I think this. I think this is one. So. I mean, I'm thinking maybe there's some classes that like frost spells that can't have access to frost spells. I don't know. Um, but yeah, probably bad. Just give it a one. Yeah, um, I don't know. I could, I could see myself being wrong on this, but the temporary just makes it really annoying. So Agreed. I, I just can't slap. When am I going to slap it down? You know, like and it takes up. It might take up my whole turn, but it might not. Like that makes your returns really awkward, right? Because, like, if you get a good thing, then you do it. But if you get something bad, all right. For some reason, character artist isn't showing up. Um, let me refresh here. Okay. Um, draw a minion that costs five or more. Give it a funny mustache. Wait, is that, <laughs> is that literally the... Okay. I don't know how that works. Um, so just tutoring, right? So, yeah, this is just... Uh, it's a better... Uh, Tailoring or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I, I I think it is a four, like, because uh, you just you just run it and then you can draw Odin or you can draw Bran, like that's insane, right? I mean, I I don't I don't you're you're paying four mana for a three four that draws a card. It's not. I mean, there's no way that's a four, but it could be like a two. I mean, you can't give it a four. I'm giving it a two. I'm gonna give it a four. So and the mustache is like really valuable. So. That's true. That's the main part. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Oh, giggling inventor. Giggling toy maker. Oh, why can't I see the next? Oh, I have to freaking <clears throat> scroll down. Wait. All right. Sort by. I can Um. I lost my sort by. Oh, there it is. Uh, just like I had to re refresh it and it messed up low, mana low to high. There we go. Um, okay. So that was okay. Giggling toy Major, death rattle, summon. Uh, okay, so it's giggling inventor, but you can't just spam it, and it does nothing on the turn. Um. Yeah, but it's four mana. It used to be OP at five, but that was a while ago. Yeah, but like it's still like kind of annoying, you know. So you play that in Paladin on uh, turn four, and then you have like some Keeper Terror on turn five, and Whoa. one of these annoying cons is like a three seven. That's... 
Yeah. I I, uh, I could see it being good. Uh, I'm gonna give it two. I'm not quite. I'm not not a believer to give it three, but um, yeah, yeah no. It's a one or a two. That, that specific combo with one legendary five mana card is it sounds playable. Maybe. Well, somebody might be able to, you know figure out other things, or I don't know. So. Um, All right. Um, nesting gold. Oh, Ooh, we summoned it with one one. Uh, but does it like it doesn't work with both buffs, right? Like, no, it's so, like rattle war. It's still kind of good, right? I don't know. I mean, the thing about rattle war is that it's not that it was like a, is that it would win the game, but other than winning the game, it did nothing. <laughs> that sounds weird, but you know this yeah, one. I, I, you are right. Yeah, I know what you mean. All right, uh, I'll give it a one. You're right. Um, unless like you could transfer this death rattle to something else. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a way? I actually, if there's a way that something you know cards that steal a death rattle from another card. Yeah, but the okay. yeah I I know, but the when they get resummoned, they won't have the death rattle again. Oh, that's a good point. Um, that's a good point. I'm not willing to count it out. I'm gonna give it two. So, I mean, what if it's? Uh, oh, it's. I thought it was four four. It's four three. Oh, that's worse. Yeah, um, four four would actually be quite good. So, a four four that summons a three two that summons a one one. Or oh, it would be a three three then a two two then a one one. So now it's three two two one and then it's over. Uh. It's not even that bad. I'll give it a two. Nah. <laughs> so we're both, a, uh, like, drop, it's like almost like on the verge of being playable. Right. Nostalgic Gnome. Um, miniaturized Rush. After a minion deals exact lethal damage on your turn, draw a card. Ooh. 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 Wait, it has to be to the hero, right? Obviously not, because if it did, you just end the game, right? So yeah, I think um, that was like a card, because otherwise it would be honorable kill. Oh, they just don't want to. It's honorable kill. They just didn't want to. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that, <laughs> that makes the card better, but I like it less. <laughs> a card to be up. They don't reuse keywords. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the, so I think. Um, I think it's a. Uh, uh, it could give car. It could give a draw engine for. Actually, no. Like if I know you're running this card, I just. I think it's this bad. I think I'm one. I don't know. Yep. One. All right. Origami crane battle cry swap health with another minion. No. Like a minion. Is this good? <laughs> Vulgin, all right. Is this it's good? Vulgin, is... But, like, it's much better than Vulgin, but like years later, but neutral. All right, I'll give it two stars. Yeah, you just do it on like, so your, your opponent goes the Vampiric Blood guy, the Titan, and it gets like a 20 health minion, and then you play this, and now you have a 20 health taunt, right? So. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's four mana, so. Like, it's not good on four ever. Yeah. Well, like, you don't hold that as removal, like, four mana removal, but it's a taunt, but, like... I guess you play that in a deck with a bunch of, uh, like, a control deck with a bunch of one damage. Mm -hmm. And it's just removal and board in one. Sure, I'll give it two stars. Probably being too generous with these two stars, but whatever. Yeah. I explain that it's so explaining, but you can skip this one. All right, I'll just give it four stars. Doesn't matter. Um, forgotten animatronic. At the end of your turn, destroy a minion with less attack than this. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, you never play that. In what? In like a deck. Yeah, I mean, this card is could be busted in arena because it just keeps killing your opponent's stuff, but. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you only play five attack minions in your read deck, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it one. So, 
Yeah, this one's terrible, for sure. Alright, um... Nostalgic Clown. If you played a higher cost card while holding this, deal 4 damage. So, the first one's hard to do. Um... The second one's pretty good if you're playing Rogue. I think you run this in a Brand Warrior because there's no Astralord. You play this for 6, then you play this for 5, and so... You can deal 16 pretty easily, right? Yeah, I mean, Rogue with Shadow Step, you can, like, with a miniature version, you can probably do some stuff, but, I mean, it's it's a lot of setup, and I guess you only have two Shadow Steps, it's only, like, 12 damage. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I mean, I see potential with that card, it's not, like, completely dead always. Yeah, I'm gonna give it two. I could see, sure. I could see something, you know. I'll give it three. I'll give it three. I feel like there's gonna be a way to. Oh, okay. shutter block. Oh yeah. I don't know. Shutter block can't deal damage to the enemy hero. Oh uh, yeah. You can find honorable lethal though on yourself. <laughs> honorable lethal, yeah. Well, you gotta find some way where you like whatever you take damage. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, yeah. So all right, origami frog, rush battle cry, swap attack with. Swap attack with it. Oh, this is the opposite. With another minion. I feel this one is worse than the origami other crane. I mean, I feel this is pretty absurdly bad, to be honest. Okay, so enemy has a 7-7 seven, seven on board. You play that, you have a 7-3, a and they don't have anything. Oh, I see. Okay, that's kind of good. But, I don't know. It's still 5 mana. I, I don't believe in this one. I like the other one better. I'm going to give it a one. Yeah, same. This, this one can never be like hard to remove afterwards. The other one can be a high health taunt, at least. Right. Workshop Janitor, if you control location, draw two cards. That's bad. Though. Yeah, one. It just so... Five mana is crazy. Um, Wait, the next right. one is in the game, right? Um, Lena, I haven't seen this. Whenever you cast a spell, filled your board with random minions of that cost. Well, that's oh, pretty no, good. It's a different card. This so is good, right? That. You play that and it lives. Or you play that in Druid with the card that, that, um, that gives you a bunch of mana back. And then you play like a... Oh, but then you have a bunch of two ones on i mean board. you could still just make a board of two like a like something this coin power of the wild or something you know who knows um i mean it's a whole board for one card yeah and if it's like you know by some miracle it'll... Uh, i'll give it two i'll give it four four okay i could see that Four is crazy. I mean, I feel like there's gonna be stuff. Like audio amplifier, you get a board full of five drops for six mana. And whatever your five mana spell does probably removes an enemy menu or whatever. Clears the board. Okay. Origami Dragon. Uh swap stats. Okay, this is this is the oh sorry, I forgot to All right, so playing big minions is just like bad into so many of those new cards. But I'm assuming, like, I feel like the reaction, like the way the meta is going to be built, is none of the expensive cards are going to be good, and none of the reactive cards are going to be good. Like, yeah, I'm gonna give this one. This seems bad. No, ta if it had taunt, it might be okay, but it doesn't have taunt. So yeah. you never have time to play this for six mana. I mean, it's just like, it's insanely strong if we're like five years ago. Again. Yeah. Right now it's. Uh, art is solid. Um. Sorry, I keep. Uh, okay. Next one is Wind Up Musician. Um, tradable deal one damage to all minions, trade to upgrade it. 
Wait, I can run this in my Reno Paladin. <laughs> keep trading it. And then I just, like, deal, like, I keep putting it in my deck whenever I draw it. And then eventually it's the only minion left in my deck. And I just deal 8 to all enemy minions every turn. Right? So, I mean, I'm giving it one star. But you can, uh... <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm doing the worst, like, uh, dude, my predictions are so... I mean, my predictions won't be off, because I'm just saying everything's two stars. Because I want to believe. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's go, uh, artist. Oh, that's the one that is already in the game. Draw, minion, no transform. Uh, so, yeah. I, I, I haven't seen one person play this card. Um... Mm -hmm was a bad sign. So I would give it a one. Yep. Oh, the next card is cool. <clears throat> Joy Master Geppetto, get w w copies of one every one. So all your miniature stuff, right? Yeah, and all like it could be something else. Oh, all your one attack or one health. Oh, so you you get your um, those those cards that we we're talking about uh, that um, those neutrals that like. So, I'll give this a three. Yeah, I agree. That card's gonna be good for sure. All right, um, and uh, factory assembly bot miniaturize at the end of your turn. Is somebody six seven bot that attacks a random enemy? Oh, That's this brilliant. is wait, 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 wait. This is what you pull out with the uh, with the warrior deck, right? You pull out this card, and then you get a six seven bot, and then you play another one for one mana. That's pretty freaking good, right? Wait, you got another one for one mana? Because it's miniaturized. Um, oh, do you not get miniaturized if it's a. Uh, is it like if you pull it out? No, there's no like... miniaturized card that does that in Warrior. Are we talking about a different class? I'm looking at Factory Assembly Bot. Oh, pulling it out doesn't give it a minute. Okay, weak out. It's like a battle cry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But, okay. I don't know. Still, if you pull it out for five mana, um, it's like okay, right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna give it one because it's like a ten mana terrible card. Yeah, but the more I talk about it, I was like, I was a believer, and then I stopped believing. So it could be a ten ten. I feel like it should be a ten ten. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, ten mana oh. cards, and then um. So we got uh, Playoffs Giant. Cost Last one card. card for each card you draw in this game. Um, so does it start at like... Does it start at 20 or does it start at like... I bet, I bet it starts at 20. So... Okay. Um, um, Finley so will make a sheep. Oh, Finley doesn't count as draw. But uh, you can play like the 3 mana 3 4, right? Um. Oh yeah, yeah. So this, that, yeah, because it's like the the wildlock quest with Malagos and Alex Draza. Yeah, people say you, you burn this in the the priest deck, right? Um, yeah. So and then you, you play your dragons and you play this too. So, um, I mean, oh, uh, do you still have a power word synchronize? Like a two minute giant after that. Yeah, oh yeah, you could do that to make another giant, right? Yeah, so. Um, I mean, this is like a new Naga giant. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I mean, this is going to be bad in a lot of decks, but like it's a neutral, so it only has to be good in like, you know, a few for it to be a good card, right? Yeah, it's so, definitely going to be good in some decks. I'd, I'd give it a three. Yeah, I'll give it a three as well. Um, I don't. I don't think it's that insane because, like, an eight-eight nowadays doesn't really win the game. 
Yeah, but I mean, yeah, so. But okay. be, German I hate it, is still pretty good. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's the last card. Yeah. So, we booked it. All right. There's a. Is it? Three hours and 40 minutes. Uh, I don't that, that feels reasonable. Yeah. I don't, I did, I, yeah, yeah. So you, you could easily take six hours doing these things because you start debating, but yeah. uh, <laughs> then you get exhausted. Yeah, mine took eight hours. So, <laughs> that's what I mean, pocket, right? It's like, yeah, you know, I just go by what my instincts are because at the end of the day, I don't know, anyways. So it's not like I'm investing. It's not like I have to like decide which cards to buy now. I'm gonna buy them all. Oh, yeah. So it's not like I have to like really get accurate. It's more just a yeah. Overall impression, um, I don't know. There's a lot of these miniaturized things. I don't really know if it's gonna be good or not. Like it's hard to feel it out. Four people debating. <laughs> Pocket must have been a nightmare. So so. Anyways, um, took ten. My, my impression is that. Um, I don't think the classes are very like the some classes got really really strong and cool stuff and some classes got nothing so you, I don't think you're gonna see much like warlock I don't think we're gonna see much mage or like yeah there's some classes that just didn't get anything but there's ten classes so it's hard to balance um, demon hunter got nothing yeah so yeah there's some pretty bad stuff. But, um, like there's classes that got nothing, but the classes that got stuff got really cool stuff and synergies. And I think a lot of stuff is just gonna be fun. So I think it's just I I, I like how definitely fun. had some new ideas. You know, uh, it's a it had a really weird mix of like new ideas and complete copies of old ideas. So it's like it was weird. You know, yeah. Like like yeah, Warlock is like all right. We're gonna literally make big team like uh you know uh what's it the um, cube cube lock or something but it sucks so i don't know yeah there's no carnivorous carnivorous cube anyway so 